Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Mass Effect. Last episode, we met this lovely lady here. Is it Liara or Liara? Anyways, we found and rescued her from the Geth, and now she's one of us, a part of the squad. Uh, we've been doing a couple of side missions last episode, and I think we're going to continue on doing a couple more side missions. I'm not sure if that's all this episode will be. We'll find out. It really depends. But um, let's go ahead and search throughout the, the Citadel because there is a lady here news, that wants Chairman to meet. Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. Commander Shepard? Hi. Kalisa Bensin and Aljilani, I'm just West meeting Truman a bunch news. of people. <laughs> Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Sure. What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Ah, she recording? You recording this? Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human Spectre? Honored, it's just another job. It's overdue. Honored. The Spectres represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? It's not like that. They don't question me. They know better. The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Uh, the Turians helped build it, a great human innovation. This interview is over, she's a fine ship. Time to shut you up. The Turians helped build it. Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I could just end this thing, but uh, I'm gonna keep going. I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? I don't want to worry anybody, so, um, this interview is over. Hold on. It's pretty clear you have an agenda here. I'm not going to be a part of it. Excuse me. You can't just walk away, Commander. The public has a right to know. Isn't it true you're just a shill for the Council? Okay, this girl has her own opinion already of me. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that went well or not, but I try to be nice and civil there, but she's just digging too deep. Okay, um, so there is a lady here that wants to talk to me. Let me see, uh, this one, here we go. In the embassy lounge, okay. Let me look for a fast travel location, here we go. Where is embassies, here we go. Hello! Hey, my buddy, my pal! What's up, guys? I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. Yeah, yeah. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. Yes, Commander? You okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I, think, I have uh, to step aside, so be it. I think we've talked to him about all this stuff I already, so... I'll be here if you need I was anything. hoping for, like, an updated dialogue option, but that's, that's cool. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything... Uh in here so we can probably leave Let's, i'm just trying to find this lady what's in here ah these guys sub strained greeting human this is really not a good time 
You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one. I can't tell if I've this. talked all about this stuff before. Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. I cannot speak more about this problem. It Where can I find this Asari? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Udina send you? No. I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. Yeah, we know this. More like the underhand inside of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Spectres walk a slippery slope, Commander. Operate outside the law and it changes you. Look what happened to Saren. That is not a completely accurate analogy, Executor. You cannot deny that some CSEC officers are corrupt. There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. I hope that's something you'll take to heart, Shepard. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. And unlike the Spectres, we work within the bounds of the law. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Okie dokie. So, I just thought we hadn't talked to him before, so I thought might as well talk to him. Still looking for this lady. Ah, here she is. Or, it's not a- Don't believe the rumors. Wait, 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 wait. Here she is, here, okay. <laughs> I saw her Commander name Shepard, pop up. I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on the cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive! The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. Uh, you'd better pay. What's my part? Don't pay the ransom. Do you want me to deliver the ransom? <sighs> I've already transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But 
I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing, and if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. Why would they put you in jail? You're the victim here. Government representatives on the Citadel are not allowed to negotiate with terrorists. It's too dangerous. Paying a ransom would only encourage more kidnappings. I support the law in theory, but when I got the message, all I could think about was Dahlia's safety. I doubt they would actually send me to prison for what I did, but they would strip me of my post, and Dahlia would still be in the hands of the slavers. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. Okay. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Anything you can tell me about the Mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. Alright. Why me? Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a Spectre. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. All right. How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way. Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. Okie doke. Uh, I don't do this for payment. I'll do it. Forget it. Um, I won't make her pay considering she already paid, uh, the ransom. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right woman for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. All right. Gucci. All right, we'll come back here later. Obviously to give her her sister back and um, we'll explore a bit more. I'm sure there's some more uh, side quests. All right, guys. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Um, so I was gonna say, I was going through my equipment and how come I can't equip armor? Like, I know I can equip, equip light armor as an engineer, but it doesn't ever let me equip these before, for some reason. Do I, does it have to be a specific type of armor? Oh, does it have to be for human? Oh, I don't have any light armor for humans. Okay, maybe I should buy some. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. I don't blame you for walking out on her. Mm, let's talk to a wall. She wasn't gonna let the facts get in the way of the story she wanted to write. Agreed. Most people would be tempted to punch her, but you did the right thing. You walked away. Maybe I shouldn't even talk to her. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. All right. They said, think I did the right thing. Okay, now we got to figure out which one of these is the planet. So this one we can actually land on. Let's survey this one. Survey this one. Okay. We land here. Here we go. It's always so windy. Okay, let's look at the map. Stronghold, okay, that's probably where we have to go. Straight. Coming up on some enemies.
Okay, how do I repair the vehicle? Alright. In we go. go, go, go. Oh shit. Dokie, let's just have a break here. She's running. Y'all coming? Whew. Shit. Oh, damn, girl. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's look around. Yes, here we go. We got some light armor for myself. Yes, sir. It's only just a little bit better. <laughs> okay. And upgrades. Let's just do friction. There we go. Cool. Finally, some new armor. Cool. Okie dokie. Armor upgrades. Oh, my decryption skill's too low. Uh, let me see. I don't have any points. Rex has points though. Uh oh, so they're going back to the, are they going back to the Citadel? Oh, so her sister died. Oh, that's sad, dude. That makes me sad. All right, well, let's go let her know. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Unfortunately, Shepard refused to answer questions, raising concerns regarding the specter's commitment to humanity. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Good, yeah, show the footage. It's not like I didn't answer any of her questions. I just stopped the, after a certain point. What a bitch. All right, you guys. She's gonna be sad. Yes, Shepard? Did you find my sister? You lied to me! Dahlia's dead, and I know she was blackmailing you. So the truth comes out. I hope you're not angry. Surely you can understand why I lied to you. Wait, what? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. 
They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. That is why I misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. But now that Dahlia is out of the picture, it's no longer a problem. Wow. I would have helped if you'd just told me the truth. Perhaps you're right. I am sorry. We have trust issues in my family. Obviously. <laughs> I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. Uh, fair enough. It better be. Credits won't cut it. I've got a better deal. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. So, okay, I, I kind of skimmed to that, that message that we found uh, in the other system. So her sister wasn't actually in trouble. Her sister was blackmailing her? Uh, I think. Is that right? What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari <laughs> who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. Ha ha ha! You've never been, have you, boy? <laughs> I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Okie dokie. Uh, I forgot. Somebody else told me about her, this lady. Across the bridge. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Sounds interesting. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh, personal questions. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. Did I just ask her this? It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Can't I just go in? Mm, um, but if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, I'm with the Spectres. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. Wow. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? No. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Ah. Yes, of course, mistress. What's up with the music? Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. 
Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. I'm a little nervous. That is close enough, Command. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What went wrong? What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading Why lies, this girl about me, all up in my business. Very grateful. Okay. Well, now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Well, okay, this was a very weird conversation. <laughs> yeah, let me go talk to this guy to stop talking shit about you. <laughs> weird. Why? Why do I have to do that? She said strange. Ah, here we go. Commander. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. And tomorrow I'll be sober. Unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut. Go away. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It's better than sitting on your ass all day. <laughs> Fucking rags, dude. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her, after I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Hell yeah. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. And why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Where to? Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Oh, I think we met well, him. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. All right, let's go talk to this fella. Ooh. Here he is. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Actually, we have proof. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. 
Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse talk. me, I must go now. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Oh, he was Commander. leaving. That's what that was. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. That's right. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Apologize. Do not listen to my holist compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. <laughs> I like them. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Of course. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Oh. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. Interesting. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Okie doke. They will give you strength. Cool. We leveled up, boys. Alrighty, guys. I think we're gonna go ahead and head out and do another side mission. looks like wow mercury jupiter can't survey or land on any of these ah and the moon we can go to moon let's do it A side mission, but this is this is cool. I'm not gonna lie. We're on the moon. <laughs> All right, let's look at the map. Uh, training ground and debris. So, All right, head this way. Coming up on some enemies. Here we go.
Hopefully those weren't important. <laughs> shooting at? Oh, me? <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. Thing here. What's over here? Maybe it's underground. Oh, there's another building over here. We can enter. Let's just go in this one. It's right here. Let's see. Ooh, fancy. Oh, what's going on, people? Cool, cool, cool. Well, what do we got? Oh, I gotta destroy these. Shit. Now it gets fun. <laughs> He's over here. Can we close this door? I think we're done here. Go for this one. Okay, so that was just one of the cores. We Clear. have to get out of here now and go to a different core. Okay. Making sense. Making sense. Alright, these are the cores, I'm assuming. Yeah, there's three of them. More enemies. These things are crazy.
wow, wow. Shit. <laughs> Clue. All right, let's go destroy these again. We have one more core left and then we Gucci. Oh, oh wow, someone has a shield. Shit, guys. One more. Right, let's get out of here. Here we go. Oops, I closed it. Now is not the time. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Okay. Security drones, guys, y'all cover me. Another grenade. The amount of times I've wasted grenades in this game. <laughs> it's crazy. Two more. Specialization class achieved. What does that mean? What is that? Replace your base class and the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class. Transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen to view the bonuses you gain with each rank in your specialization class. Okay. 
So I can select which one I want. Op operative or medic? Masters of manipulating their environment to maximize advantage. Reduces recharge time on all tech attacks. Improves overload, improves sabotage. Nice. Uh, medics combine tech and healing abilities to boost the efficiency, the efficiency of the entire squad. Improves recharge, recharge time on medical abilities. Improves first aid and improves neutral shock. I think I'm going to go operative. Because I use sabotage and overload a lot, which you guys already know. Let's look. What did I do? I unlocked hacking and damping, I think. No, I've had that. So do I just get more abilities? I'm not exactly sure how that works. Well, all right, looks like we're done here. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.